What up, guys? Dan here, and I'm here to do my movies of 2000, my favorite movie of 2014. So let's get starting. N number 10, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I know this won't be a popular choice, but I had a ton of fun. This movie was a blast. I know Megan Fox wasn't as great, but she was very likable. The turtles was awesome. I felt like a kid watching this movie, so that's why it's number 10. Number 9, Nightcrawler. Jake Gyllenhaal was absolutely amazing. I love the look of the film. It was absolutely amazing. Jake Gyllenhaal deserves Academy Award and the look of the movie the best director definitely I don't know who the director's name is but he deserves best director of this film it was great and Rene Russo was great too in this movie it was awesome number nine no no number eight I'm sorry the Lego movie the Lego movie is one of the one of the best anime movie of the year it was so much fun it was a good so I, I would call it like a spoof one of the best spoofs it was really funny it was quotable and the song pretty much everything is awesome will be stuck in your head it was a great film so if you haven't checked it out go see it number seven is a tie oculus and the babadook o oculus was a great i loved how it was kind of like played with your mind it was a great app it was really a great film where it messes with your mind you didn't know what side was right if the brother was right or the sister was right you didn't know it was really cool it played with your mind it was great now the Duke, I was very surprised that it was I liked it as much as I did but I loved the um, atmosphere and the relationship of the mom and the son it was really good and a very creepy atmosphere and I loved it I can't wait to see more from this director number six Hunger Games oh, no, no number six X-Men Days of Future Past this movie was freaking crazy. I love the action, and I love the beginning scene with all the X-Men with their powers. Fighting the Sentinels was crazy, and I just loved Jennifer Lawrence in this movie. She was freaking amazing, like usual. I was very happy she was um, Mystique. She was great in this, and everyone was great in this movie. I loved X-Men Days of Future Past. Now, number five. Hunger Games, Mach and J Part 1. Now, Hunger Games Mocking J Part 1 I thought was very good. It was very intense. It was very emotional. But I feel like this movie, I would appreciate more when Part 2 comes out, like I did with Harry Potter Part 1 when, and 2 came out. But this movie was very good. I really, I thought it was a very enjoyable film. I, um, I loved it. It was very emotional. And um, I can't wait to see what they do with Part 2, but Mocking J Part 1 was two thumbs up. Great. Number 4, Donald Planet of the Apes. This movie felt really real with the apes and everything. They felt absolutely real. Like they were they were real apes, but they were more guys in motion capture suits. And Andy Serkis also deserves, deserves a Academy Award and nomination because his perform his performance of Caesar was excellent. And Caesar is just such a likable character. And um, I don't know. And I, I love the part of, like the interaction with the like the nice humans and the apes. I thought that was touching with, like, the nice moments. I really like that, so that's why it's number four. Now, number three is Big Hero 6. Big Hero 6 is my favorite anime movie of the year because I love the, the San San Tokyo, the characters. Um, Baymax, you would fall in love with Baymax. You would have a favorite out of the um, Big Hero 6 out of the six people. They were great characters, very relatable. I think everyone would have a really relatable one, so yeah, if you haven't seen Big Hero 6, go see it now. Number two, Guardian of the Galaxy and Winter Soldier, and the Ameri and, um, Captain America Winter Soldier, that's tied because I thought they were both great. Um, Cap Captain America made you fall in love, uh, no, not Captain America, Guardian of the Galaxy made you fall in love with the, um, with a one word talking tree and a talking, and a talking raccoon, and that's really cool. You loved every character, but you fall in love with those characters so much and the action and the comedy everyone's and everyone has gonna have a favorite character my character was my favorite character was Groot and he was awesome so yeah if you haven't seen Garden of Galaxy go see it now Captain America Winter Soldier I'm usually who's the one who cheers for like the good guy all around but my favorite character was Winter Soldier because he was kind of the bad guy but I don't want to ruin anything without I don't want to spoil anything but this but this was more than a Marvel movie. It was like a um, political thriller, and it was just really good and a lot of fun action and just very interesting. And I would definitely recommend this to anyone to see it. Now, number one is the Maze Runner and the Battle of Five Armies. The Maze Runner was everything I wanted it to be. I loved the acting. I loved the portrayal of the characters to come to life. That was probably one of the best casting I've seen in a long time in a book adaptation movie. And it was just I was pleased with the whole movie and I loved it and I just
bought it on Blu-ray Tuesday, which I plan to watch it up, like, more than, like, I plan to watch it again, more than, like, I already watched it twice, and I plan to, I'm gonna try to watch it, um, next week, um, so yeah, I, I absolutely love the movie, now, Battle of Five Armies was absolutely amazing, emotional film, great action, sad that it's the last Middle Earth movie right now, so, the, the battle scene with Lilith and the orcs and just everyone in the fighting and the kind of the all different armies, the elves, the, the dwarves, the orcs. Um, there are some wizards, humans. It was really, really good. And um, yeah, I really loved it. It was a great film. Yeah. So yeah, that's my um top ten. So if you guys haven't seen it, go see it. But that's my top ten of 2014. If you have not seen it. If you have not seen any of these movies, I suggest, in my opinion, you should at least give some of them a try. So, um, yeah, that's my list, guys. I'll guys catch you later.